Hey guys, before I start the video, I'd just like to say that we have a new merch store with some nice clothing lines that come out and a bunch of sizes, different kinds of shirts and colors. If you're interested, go check it out. They're only available for a limited time, so definitely get them while you can if you are interested. All right, now to your video. Yo, what's popping guys and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Now, if you've seen my channel in the past few days, or literally yesterday, you'll see that I created a video on how to create a pin based health bar. And I said in that video that I would be creating another video on how to make a costume based health bar. And that is exactly what I'm going to do today. Now, I will be using some help from another Scratchers project. I'd just like to credit him. His name is Your Average Gamer. The reason I'll be using uh, this person's uh, project as an example is because they already have the costumes created for this specific thing. For example, if you, if you wanted to know an example of what a normal costume one would look like when you're creating it. So let's say you were creating your health bar. Here, here's what you'd have to do. Let's say this is let's let's say this this is it. Let's say it's a uh, let's say it's in uh, gray. Okay, so you start like this. This is a small amount of health. You duplicate it. You grab it. You'd you'd uh, stretch it out just a little bit. You duplicate it, grab it, stretch it, and you do this over and over again until you had you know a full health bar. Now obviously that takes a while, and not a lot of people want to do that, which is why I'm using your average gamers, um, 800 costume health bar yes i'm serious i i'll put it into my backpack right now and then we'll go over what to do okay as you see i have now imported the hp bar from my backpack and i've gotten rid of the code so we can go over that in detail together but if you look in the costumes which is going to take a second to load you'll see look at how tiny the little scroll bar is oh my goodness but you'll see there are 801 costumes that go over all of the health that could possibly be dealt one to eight hundred yes this is real yes there are this many this is why i'm using this is why i'm using this guy's help <laughs> for this tutorial so thank you your average gamer uh y your work is incredible i don't know how how you took the time out of your day to do this but it's 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 insane i don't know why you do this to yourself this looks like it'd be an awful not fun experience at all but again we hear thank you so let's get to the coding aspect so we're gonna start by grabbing a green flag and putting it down okay we will now grab a go to zero zero just so we can center the health bar again that doesn't matter you can really put it under any broadcast you want and you can put it wherever on the screen you want that doesn't matter same goes for the size we're gonna keep it at 100 though again that you could change that entirely depending on where you need it also, since it's a sprite, in theory, you could make it follow an enemy, but I won't focus on that in this video. We will then obviously show the health bar, and then we'll come down to our controls and grab a forever loop. Inside this forever loop, what we are going to do is grab an if statement. Boom. We'll come to variables, and you'll see these three are already created, or these two are already created. This one is just for the project, but these two are already created. You're going to want to create these unless you have, you know, brought in this sprite if you by the way if you want this sprite check the description uh leave a link to a place on my website where you can um download these you know this these these costumes this sprite without any code in it so definitely go check in the link in the description and go to my website to download that um also before i forget i'm just gonna call this costume based health bar tutorial I'm just gonna call it that so now anyways back to this we're gonna come down to operators and grab a greater than symbol and put it inside of the if then we are going to come back to our variables grab if current health is greater than max health right because we will be able to adjust our max health you won't have to have 800 health you could have five health and then it'd still act exactly the same like the so for example let's say you, since this is 800 right so since this is an 800 health bar if we were to make your max health 400 the health bar wouldn't only go up to halfway once it was full it'd still go to the end and that we'll show you how that's done so after we check that what we're going to do is we're going to set our current health to our max health oh my goodness that is not your max health that's your max health and then we will switch our costume here's where it does this okay join we're going to grab our join and put in put it in here we're going to put hp in the first bubble we are going to grab a multiplication symbol 
Um, oh, wait, no, sorry, not multiplication. Round first. We'll grab a round and put it right in there like this. We'll then grab a multiplication symbol, put it inside the round. Grab a division symbol, put it in the first bubble of the multiplication symbol. Come to variables, grab current health, put it in the first bubble of the division. Grab max health, put it in the second bubble of the division. And put 800 in the last bubble of the multiplication, obviously since that's the highest the health can go. Um, so now this is the this is the little algorithm that'll make it so that even if your max health is 400, it'd still fill up all the way. So, uh, would you believe me if I told you that's all? That's the, that's the whole bit of code right there. How can we show this? Well, let me show current health and let me show max health. And we'll do the slider readout for both of them. So, current health, you'll see it can only go to 100. And our max health can also go to 100. Since we want to edit that, if you right click on max health and change the slider range, you can set the minimum value to 0 and the maximum value. Since our maximum health is 800, you can go ahead and set it to 800. Therefore, now you can set your max health all the way up to 800. Now, current health, we also want it to go up to 800. So we'll also set our maximum health or current health to 800. So now we can have our current health 800 and our max health 800. Okay, very nice, very nice. Now what we're going to want to do is actually run the project because that's what starts the forever loop. So, well actually, let, let's have it set something. So we'll do this as an example. We'll do one receive green flag click. I will uh, for, we'll, we'll start in this example. We'll set our current health to 100. Our max health to 100 as well. Okay. Just so we start out at a solid 100, 100. Pretty, pretty nice. So let's open it up and start the project. Okay, you see our health bar is full at max 100 health. You see the health is 100 and it's still full. And if I bring the current health down, it does lower the health. What happens if we go over 100? So once we hit 100... And we go over, nothing changes. Once we come back down below 100, the health bar changes. Okay, awesome. Let's set our max health to 800. You see that? Isn't that kind of cool? So, since let's set our current health to, to 300. If we do this, it'll actually adjust the current health as we go down, since it can't be higher. Isn't that cool? So, let's set our max health to 800. You can see, even when we fill it up all the way, it slowly fills up to the point that it needs to be. Set our max health to, I don't know, 20, 19. It fills up very quickly. But it still shows the costumes that are needed to get there. Very, very nice. That's where we're going to leave the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it and like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways. Because, uh, you know, we got to give a big thanks to your average gamer for making this beast of a sprite with this beast of a costume number. That's crazy. While you're at it, I want to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content, that helped me out a lot. Also, go check socials link in the description. Subscribe to those if you're interested, that helped me out a lot as well. And join Discord link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Go ahead, give me a peace. <laughs>